Hey everyone, today I'm gonna to be reviewing the course Global Entrepreneurship. This is the eighth video in my 10 part series where I review each course that I took in OMSCS. Next week, I'll be reviewing digital marketing and I'll follow that up with the last course I took, Graduate Algorithms. I don't have any videos planned for once I'm done with this series, so let me know if you wanna see anything in the comments below. So right up top, I'll say that Global Entrepreneurship was actually my least favorite class that I took in OMSCS. I think that it has a lot of potential and it has really good lectures, but the rest of the course just kind of felt half-baked and was very unorganized. As a little bit of background, this course was actually announced while I was already in the program. As such, it wasn't in my original course plan, but the description of the class sounded really interesting. Like I've mentioned, I didn't do CS in my undergrad, and one of the things that made me really interested in software engineering was how much leverage a single engineer has when creating products when you compare it to other disciplines of engineering. And this course seemed like a great way to dip my toes into the business side of things. Like I mentioned in my last video, I took this class along with high performance computer architecture while also working full time. Just as a caveat, this was, I think, either the second or third semester of this course being offered. So I think that there is still a lot of room for improvement, and so hopefully it improves in the future. As for the content of the course, there are pre-recorded lectures. I actually think that these lectures are very good, and they're definitely the highlight of the class. They're targeted at the right audience, which is software engineers who don't know much about business, but want to learn how to use their software engineering skills in order to create successful businesses. They center around the business model canvas and they focus on how to validate ideas and start a company. Overall, the professor is a very good lecturer and he makes you excited about the material. There were weekly quizzes on the lecture material. There were also two exams. Both these quizzes and exams were in similar formats. They were open note, they were definitely on the easier side and skewed toward the trivia side of things. In the semester that I took the course, there was also one project where we used ChatGPT in order to generate business ideas. But other than that, the course centers around a semester long project. This is a group project where you and your team conduct 15 interviews per week in order to do customer discovery and fill out the business model canvas. Each week you have to submit a short video on your findings for that week. And at the end of the semester, there's a longer video presentation submission. So I mentioned that I really enjoyed the lectures, but I was not a fan of the rest of the class. To me, the execution felt pretty half-baked and a little bit lazy. For the semester long project, my group as well as other groups found the requirements very unclear. We had essentially the same deliverable for eight weeks, which pretty much only focused on the customer discovery aspect of filling out the business model canvas. I understand that customer discovery is a really important part of validating business ideas, but in an educational setting, this just ended up feeling very repetitive and I felt like we could have gotten more out of focusing on different aspects of the business model canvas each week. I also didn't join my group, but there wasn't any opportunity to choose your own group mates, which I think for a semester long project where you're working on an idea that you and your group come up with, there should definitely be at least the opportunity to choose your group as opposed to being automatically assigned to a group. Our group also found the grading very inconsistent and the feedback was also pretty inconsistent. In general, the instructional staff was just pretty unresponsive and not very helpful. I did like the professor, and like I mentioned, I enjoyed his lectures, but he's just not very involved in the class, although he seems nice when he does post in the forums. As for the TAs, they take many days to respond to even the simplest clarification questions, and we also found that generally those replies were unhelpful. There also aren't weekly scheduled office hours, although you were able to schedule meetings with either the TAs or the professor, but I think for a class like this where there's no auto-graded assignments and you're really depending on the feedback of the instructional staff, there really should be weekly recurring office hours. One of the suggested textbooks for this class is literally called Talking to Humans, and I just found it a little ironic that this course had the least helpful instructional staff of any of the courses that I took in OMSCS. Like I mentioned, this was one of the first iterations of the class, and I do think that this 
type of class is harder to do online than some of the project heavy classes where you can use the auto grader to help yourself learn. But I do think that it should still be possible and it's definitely needed for a class like this. When I compare it to a business type class like digital marketing, I found that digital marketing was much more organized and had much clearer requirements for the assignments. I do think that this class is really well positioned within the program because it does provide those business skills for software engineers. So I think it has the right target audience, but I would just love to see the execution be improved. This is probably the only class that I took in OMSCS that I wouldn't take again, knowing what I know now. Like I mentioned, I really liked the lectures, but they're not publicly available and the professor doesn't plan on making them publicly available, which I think is a bit of a shame because they're definitely the best part of this class. I ended up downloading the lecture videos and I do plan on rewatching them when I start a side project. And it was interesting to learn about a few tools that you can use to create a successful company, but those are just about the only things that I took away from this course. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this is the eighth video in my 10 part series where I review each of the courses that I took in OMSCS. Next week, I'll be reviewing digital marketing and the following week, I'll be reviewing graduate algorithms. If there's anything else that you're interested in hearing about, feel free to leave it in the comments below.